Alright guys, I am going to switch over to something different here. Now at night, you can do spin casting. It's just a little trickier to catch them because of the light levels. So I'm going to switch this out with, believe it or not, it seems like anything that's silver or even black does better under these low light conditions because it basically makes a silhouette you know, like if the moon is out that the fish can see. Now I'm going to try this one here to start off with and if that doesn't do well I'm going to try the one the dragonfly stream with the the yellow dots I am going to take the retrieval speed down to about 12 and we're going to do a slower retrieve this time after we pick up our other rod here hold on oh nice come on fish Wow, I am, that's just blowing me away. These gibbles are just doing really well here. If I had known that was going to be the case, I would have picked up some ground bait. Anyway, let's see how well this does. I'm going to do this to like a count of three. Like one, two three stop one two three stop just like that we're hoping these guys see the silhouette against the moonlit sky I'll be a dank on hold on Yet another one. I knew it. I knew that's what he was going to be. Put that down. And they're definitely keeping me active. Here, back in our little spot, and we're going to get everything set up here. I'm going to go ahead and let me see what size hook do I have on here. Let's change the hook size down it, take it up to a number two, and we'll put some pieces of fish on there this time. See if we can't get us a burbot here. Okay, I threw that a little far. What you need to do is you need to reel it. And when you see that go really long, like that, that means we're in the hole. And that's where we want to be. Alright, let's get the three out. What have I got on here? Oatmeal. Let's see. Size hook I've got in there is fine. I'm trying to decide if I want the goose mayfly larva or grasshopper. Let's go with grasshopper for now. Well, that's a good casting rod. I'll give it that. Trying to wait until I get to the hole here. There, I think that's got it. Now, let's get out our... It's back to sunny, so we can start switching our bait. Let's try the... 
Let's try the 13 to start off with, see if that does anything. Okay, we do have it at 20. There we go. I think we got it's just a perch. Yep. Looks like getting a little bit of activity over there. I am going to go ahead and change this to something else here for a moment. Decide what it is. Honestly, I'm not sure what I want to use at this point. Well, let's go ahead and see what this guy is. Off the fish, guys. Off the fish. Might mean it's a burbot. I don't know. We'll see. I think it is a burbot. No, it's a Chinese sleeper. <laughs> Good God, that's a big hook for such a little fish. There we go. We're in the hole now. Those darn Chinese sleepers, they, they're, they're funny. They... It's amazing how well... Okay, why is that going nuts? There's nothing on there. No, there's nothing on there. That was kind of weird. Well, let me just put it there for the moment. Not sure what's going on with that rod. Jingling, jangling like it's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to decide with the weather being what it is, what would be the best one to go with. I mean, they only seemed mildly interested to the 20, the 13. Yeah, they don't seem to be going for this as much right at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I am going to do something for one of my viewers that's brought this up quite a few times. This Icon Fat, I'm going to give the, that one a try. Try to decide whether I want to use the 3 or the... Let's try this one. This has been a good good one for what, doing what I call skittering. Well, I don't call it. Actually, Dula calls it that. But going across this deep point... What we do is we raise our retrieval speed way up as far as, as far as it'll go. Throw it all the way across. Now you can either do this on on the bottom or you can just hold your hold it right here, but we basically are moving it really fast and bouncing it along the bottom like this. This icon fat seems to be real good with this. Caught my first sander this way. There we go. We got something. I think he's a perch, probably, but yeah, tiny little perch. I'm not seeming to get a whole lot of this at the moment. Usually it does pretty good, but it may not be early enough. 
The weather, honestly, is kind of fighting me. It's been so warm. I'm trying to decide which one I want to give an attempt to. See if their interest is sparked up by a little bit of a different colored one here, like this one. The right cheer. I'll be damned. Sometimes you just gotta play around with colors. Whoa! You got off. There he is. He decided to come back for more. Definitely into the perch today. Warm weather perch. I'd be happy with a one and a half kilogram perch. That would be nice. Need to eat again. I think this time I'm going to have some cheese. And maybe some bread. Looks like we've got something here. Yeah, they've been kind of finicky today. In days like this, this is when you really just keep trying. I think the product of the problem is is just that it's very warm and sunny. And they're just not as active when it's warm in the middle of the day like this. So I thought I'd go ahead and switch to that perch colored hunter, see if they were... Just gonna go for the ones that look more like a fish. Come down here with this red hypnotic and try some of these stick ups over here. Things just seem to be a little on the slow side, and I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes this red hypnotic does really well too. But I gotta be careful not to get too far across there. come down here a little bit and try the funky metal just right across here see if it does any good and then I think we're gonna call this an episode we're gonna see if there are any pike downstream Let's see if these buggers are gonna go for the funky minnow Yeah, things have slowed down. This was not the best weather for fishing for anything other than perch. It's 23 degrees Celsius. It's a pretty warm day here on the rivulet, believe me.
There we go. Something finally took some interest. It's not big, but... Jeez, these are some tiny, tiny perch. <laughs> tiny, tiny little perch. It's amazing they can get such a big lure. There we go. Now we're talking. There you go, guys. Finally. Got a Xander interested. Looks like they're a little bit further downstream for some reason. I would have thought they wouldn't be biting in this kind of weather, that's for sure. Now where the heck? That's not even a deep spot. That is really strange. Usually you get a lot more Xander down by the hole. Just one of those weird fishing days, I guess. But yeah, just moving up and down the bank. Trying different lures. It's really the best you can do on these really warm, sunny days here at the Winding Rivulet. Cold days, cloudy days, in my opinion, are much better. I can get a lot more action. But this is probably a good place to stop, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. We're going to go ahead and pick up our gear and call this an episode. So always remember, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.